Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this silk tray. Let's hop right to it. All right, create a new project. Let's start out right clicking here, the very top of the tree, select new component. Let's go ahead and name this silk tray. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and create a sketch and let's put it on the top plane. Let's go ahead and select the top view. Select a visible plane. Let's create a center rectangle. Top, we want to be 50 millimeters. Hit the tab key. And we're gonna select 35 millimeters. Hit enter. Now the sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and hit the extrude command. Let's make this about 10, 10 millimeters in height. Click OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and select the front view. Zoom in. Select front view. Let me go ahead and change this. The camera is going to be perspective with auto faces. OK. All right. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on the front plane, XZ plane specifically. Select the center diameter circle. We're going to see an X when we select at this line. And we're going to make this circle uh, diameter be three millimeters. Let's add some dimensions. So let's go ahead and make the distance from the center point to this edge to be about 10 millimeters. Okay. Now the sketch is fully defined. Finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and select extrude command. Let's select the profile we just created. Okay. Direction we want to be symmetric. Okay. We want the extent type to be distance of all. Operation is going to be set to cut. Click OK. Okay. So let's go ahead and select the rectangular pattern tool, which again will be create. Okay. Pattern. Rectangular pattern. All right going to select the objects, but to do that, we want the type to be features. Let's go down to the bottom timeline, select the extrude command we just created and it's highlighted blue. Okay. We want the extent type to be spacing. We want to select a direction, select this line. Let's go ahead and drag it over. Okay. We want iterations to be about four. So that's to be our quantity. Okay. And let's go ahead and set the distance to be negative 10, All right? Computer option is gonna be optimized. Click okay. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some fillets. We're gonna add two sets of fillets, okay? So let's go ahead and select the fillet command and select the edges as follows. We're going to set the dimensions to be five millimeters. Okay. Let's hit the plus symbol. Okay. Actually, let's back out. We don't want the plus symbol. Just click OK. Let's go ahead and add another additional fillet. Because we want this fillet to be set before we create the other one. Let's select the outer edges. Select this edge as well. Okay. We're going to make this 2.5 millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right. Next, we're going to use the shell command to hollow this top uh, face out. So let's go ahead and use the shell command. Select this top face. I'm going to make this 0.5 millimeters in thickness. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and create an offset plane. So we're going to hit construct. Okay. Offset plane. Let's go ahead and select this face right here. I want the offset to be 0.5 millimeters. Click OK. OK. Select the bottom view. It's going to be upside down, but it's OK. Doesn't matter. I'm going to create a sketch on the plane we just created. All right. I'm going to use the two point uh, rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle like so. 
let's go ahead and add some dimensions because it's actually shaded i'm going to use control 9 so we can actually see through it okay all right here comes our dimensions so we want the width to be three millimeters okay we want the height to be 25 millimeters all right we want the distance from this edge to this edge at the top to be five millimeters okay and next we want the actual distance from this edge to this edge to be three millimeters all right and now the sketch is fully defined we go ahead and hit control six to bring back the shading Go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the extrude command. Select the profile we just created in case it's not. Okay. I want to drag the arrow up. Okay. We want the distance to be all. Operation set to cut. And again, the cut operation is denoted by the color red. Click OK. All right. Next. What we want to do is use the rectangular pattern command type is going to be set to features we're going to go ahead and select the object which is going to be the extrusion we just created okay profile is selected direction select this top edge here drag it over the quantity we want to set to five distance type is going to be spacing again all right distance is going to be 10.23 millimeters Computer options optimize, click OK. All right. Okay. Let's select the front view. Now let's go ahead and create a sketch on this face. Again, we're going to use a two point rectangle. Select this edge. When you see the X, you're good to go. Okay. We want the width to be 25 millimeters. Hit the tab key. We want the edge and the length, correction, the height to be two millimeters. Click OK. Add some dimensions. The distance from this edge to this edge, we want to be 12.5 millimeters. And the sketch is now fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Select the stroop command. Select the profile we just created. Drag the ever inside. Okay. Distance we want all operations set to cut. Once again, denoted by the red shading. Click OK. All right. Now, select the right view. Create a sketch on this face here. Again, we're going to use two point rectangle. Make sure we use the line. You'll see an X there. Okay. And I didn't add the dimensions right away, so we can do it later. Simple, very, very simple. Okay, so what we want to do is go ahead and select this edge and make it 20 millimeters. Select this edge and make it two millimeters. All right, let's go ahead and add the distance. We want the distance from this edge to this edge to be about 7.5 millimeters. Sketch is now fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish it. And you guessed it, we're going to go ahead and use the extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Drag the arrow inside. Okay. Extent type, distance is going to be set to all. And again, red shading denotes cut. Click OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some more fillets. Okay. So we're going to add some fillets to this edge here, the inside edges. All right, we're gonna make these 0.5 millimeters for dimensions. Okay, click all right. Click fill it again, and let's select a series of edges. Correction, faces is what we're gonna be selecting. This face here, 
this face here. We're going to select all the surrounding faces. All right, we want to set this to 0.2 millimeters. Okay. All right. So what we want to do now, create a sketch on the previous construction plane we had. Let's make it visible again. Create another sketch on that uh, previous plane. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. Let's turn off the shading, control nine. All right, it's at the bottom again. So let's select center diameter circle. We'll make the circle 1.25 millimeters in diameter. Let's go ahead and add some dimensions. From the center of the circle to this point here, we want it to be 3.5 millimeters. From the center of the circle to this edge, we want it to be 3.75 millimeters. Sketch is now fully defined. Control six to turn back on shading. Finish the sketch. Okay. Let's use the extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Extent type we want to be to object. Select this portion here. All right. We want the taper angle to be 10 degrees. Operation is going to be set to join. And click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and use the mirror command. Type is going to be features, the extrusion we just created. The mirror plane wants to be this plane right here. Okay. Actually, let's start at the top. So we'll use this plane right here, the front plane. Okay. Computer options optimized. Click OK. Let's use the mirror command once again. Features. We're going to select the mirror as well as the uh, extrusion mirror plane this time it's going to be this plane right here all right compute options optimize click ok and you got the four legs all right now let's go ahead and add some shading to it hit the a key for appearance we'll type in plastic we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and let's use polymide captain Let's change the color of it. So I have seven, one, five, four, 200. We'll leave these parameters set as follows. Click done, close it out. Let's go to the render tab, All right? Select in canvas render. We can play around with some of the parameters here. We can go ahead and make the roughness to the floor 0.05. Um, we can add depth of field. And we want the depth of field to be 0.04. And it's actually set in the center. Okay. Let's set the focal length to 200. And that should do it. Let it render just a little bit. I'm not going to sit and wait for it because it'll take a while. But as you can see, we've created a soap tray. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around and I'll definitely see you in the next video.